Welcome, and first of all, thanks for deciding to take advantage of what SmartVote has to offer. We're excited to have you be part of what we're doing for the construction industry. Whether your company builds or sells post-frame buildings, metal buildings, garages, sheds, barn dominiums, I think we definitely have a tool that can help you. So first things first, we have to get through this implementation process, get it all set up so that it can really help you in your day-to-day -day processes. So let's get started. In our first session here, we'll just be going through a general overview of the entire system, set up what all is involved, what you can expect, maybe how much resource you'll really need to apply to make this all work. So whether you just purchased your first suite of software and you wonder where to start, or maybe your company failed to do a proper implementation back when you bought it originally and you just need a reset. So the good news is we've put together this video series that you can watch and hopefully this will make your process with our live agent go a lot smoother. In some cases, if you feel up to the task, you may even be able to get through the entire implementation much quicker just by following our video series instead as you have time as your schedule allows, instead of meeting with a live person. Either way, we'll be here to help you along the way. So as we get started, the first thing you'll notice when you log in with SmartBuild, we start you out with a generic database. If you jump right in and try to run a sample project, it's probably not going to work. You'll notice that things don't seem to be set up fully, and that's for a reason. We leave the database in a state that really speeds up the setup process, so it's not fully complete, but it is in a prime state for you to take it over and make it your own. For the first several sessions of the process, most of the work being done will be out of the setup wizard as we know it at SmartBuild. So in the setup wizard, this is where we set up the entire catalog or any item that you ever put into your projects. So when you get done with the process, we just have to make sure that every single item that ever gets shipped to the job site is in your SmartBuild catalog. So we'll start out with the base materials as in framing. Next, we'll talk about the different product lines that you may offer. Whether it's just metal, maybe it's metal number one, number two, if you have a 40-year and a 10-year metal, maybe vinyl or shingles, different products. But we put these into classes, and we call these classes product systems. So the next step is what colors are available in these classes. So we have the product systems, and then the next step would be colors. So the order is very important. So what colors are available in each system? So if we think metal, you may have your metal colors from your supplier. If you're talking vinyl siding, trims. It may be a specific brand that your company offers if you sell vinyl at all. And if it's asphalt shingles, it may be their colors that their brand or shingle offers. So no matter what the product is, roofing, siding, you have a different color group. So if we think about that, you know, that's a reason to create a new product system or a class. And that's, that's the most important part to understand. So as we get through the remaining categories, your sheeting, your trim, they're all very similar in setup. So we start out with the generic database so you can use our generic items for reference. So when you look in the database here, you can see uh, how each product is set up in the different dimensions or um, default settings uh, of that product. So it's much easier to look at our product and, and tell um, how to set up yours so if it's a similar product. So when it comes to metal, um, we can set up random part length. So if you sell your metal in a part length, as in a 10 or 12 foot part length, you store it in your warehouse, we can support either way. Trims, the same case. So trims could be set up as a random length or a part length. So, and then we get into other categories, hardware items, fasteners. The format changes a bit, but the setup menu starts to become very familiar. So we'll review each section in depth in this series, and then you can skip to the parts that are the toughest if you need, and then you can rewatch as needed. If you have any questions you can always reach out to our support team and we look forward to going through this setup journey with you.